Do you ever wonder why you cannot open the eyeball chest? Or maybe you have difficulties to open the arithmancy doors? Or even you struggle to solve the Allo Mora mini games? So in this video, I would like to explain how to solve all the puzzles in Hogwarts Legacy. So let's get to it! So, the first puzzle that we're gonna solve is the eyeball chest puzzle. In the beginning of this game, you often find a lot of this chase. So the way to open this eye chest puzzle is very easy. You just need to cast this illusionment charm to open the chest so you won't be seen by the eyeball. If you want to know all the location of this eyeball chest, we already made the video about it and you can check it in the link in the descriptions below. The second puzzle that we're gonna solve is the arithmancy doors. So the arithmancy doors are scattered around the Hogwarts castle and solving them can be extremely hard if you don't know the correct animal symbols. But there's a clue paper that makes solving them become so simple. This puzzle contains the symbol of magical beasts around the door that associate with number from 0 to 9. To unlock the door, you'll have to find the missing numbers in their triangles. Just simply add the two numbers together and subtract the sum from number in the center of the triangle. The resulting number will be associated with the magical beast that you have to input into the triangles. If you're unsure of what number of the magical beast represent, check the video to see what magical beasts are associated with what numbers. And if you want to know all the location of the Arith Messi doors, once again, I will have to tell you that we already made the video about it, and you can check the link descriptions below. So, the next puzzle that we're gonna solve is Alo Mora. Firstly, to get the spell, you need to finish the main quest called the Caretaker's Lunar Lament. During the quest, Mr. Moon will teach you the simple version of Alo Mora. To upgrade this spell, you need to collect a certain amount of Demigas Moons twice and bring them to him both times. Every time you interact with Analog and use Alo Mora, Mini Game will appear and opening the door for you when complete successfully. To see a lot more feasibly, you can use Revalio to highlight them. You will look at some similar circular rings when playing along with two shiny lights or sparks of green and red. The green light is related to the outer circle, whereas the red light rotates as the inner circle does. Our objective is to rotate the larger circles and make a pattern so that the smallest ones also start to turn. Stop the rotation when the two smaller circles to the right also start moving. This will be the only point during the complete revolution where the other two circles start moving. In Hogwarts Legacy World Map, we found the Merlin Trials scattered around it. To unlock Merlin Trials, first you need to have the Mellow Sweet Leaves. These puzzles are important as they grant you extra gear slots. There are 9 different types of puzzles in Merlin Trials, and I will explain it to you one by one. The first challenge is Lighting Razier. This challenge requires Incendio or Confringo spells. But first, you need to cast Revalio to reveal the 3 pillars location. What we need to do is light the braziers quickly, because once the braziers start to touch the ground, it will be reset and you have to light them all over again. The way to make the brazier last longer is to cast Arresto Momento after you like them. The second one is the big ball. This challenge requires Accio, Levioso, Depulso, and Wingardium Leviosa. All you need to do is to move the balls using spells into the nearby ball shape hole in the ground. If you want to do it quicker, you can just use Wingardium Leviosa and take it there manually. The next challenge is Gathering Moth. This challenge requires Lumo spell. The way to complete this challenge is very simple though. 
You just need to use Lumos to attach the nearby floating mods and bring them back to each of the cube crystal in turn to light them up. And then there's a group of balls challenge. So this challenge required Akio and Wingard in Leviosa's spell. First, all you need to do is to use Revelio to reveal the group of ball that's hidden. Then use movement spells like Accio or Wingardium Leviosa to transfer sets of 5 small stone balls into a nearby plate with bow shaped openings in them. Then do the same repeatedly for 3 times. The next one is Parker Challenge. So this challenge required no spells because this challenge is a parker obstacle course. You need to climb onto one end of the nearby standing stones and move across them by running and jumping without touching the ground to reach the other hand. The trick to make it easier is to begin the challenge from the highest stone to the lowest. And then we have the Destroy Balls Challenge. Another of the most simple Merlin trials involves a series of 9 stone balls set upon stone columns. They're found in groups of three around the Merlin trial marker, and the trickiest bit is to find them. So use your value to locate them, then you can just simply hit them with your basic attack or other spell that you want to cast. And then we have the Destroy Stone Pillar Challenge. So first you need to cast Revalio to locate the pillars that you should destroy. Use Confringo or Bombarda to blow up the highlighted stone pillars in the trial area, then boom! And then we have the Repair Stone Challenge. Once you activated the Merlin Trials, the statues around the trial area will be destroyed. So, all you need to do is the opposite of destroy stone pillars which is, you need to repair the broken statues with Reparo. And then, the last Merlin Trials, finally, is by far the most complicated puzzle of all the Merlin Trials. It's called the Rotating Pillars Challenge, and you also need one specific spell that you'll get later on this game, which is Flipindo. So you'll find a rotating cube symbol and what you need to do is just flip Pindo on the cube until the symbol matches with the cube below. However, you'll have to do this on each side until all four lines up. And for you who wants to know all the location for this Merlin Trials, I already made a video about it and you can check the link in the descriptions below. And now we're going to talk about the Magic Hotspot. This hotspot provides permanent upgrades to this matter. As a player, collect 3 essences of ancient magic at this location to increase the ability's damage. There are 20 ancient magic hotspots in total. It can be found in the wild region of the Highlands. We just need to follow the trail that will lead you to the ancient magic, then use your value to reveal the orbs of magic. After that, Take 3 orbs of magic. And guys, I already made the video about the magic hotspots location, so if you want to check it out, you can just check the link in the descriptions below. The next puzzle that we're gonna talk about is the astronomy table puzzle. The first time you see this puzzle is in the astronomy class. How to solve it is simply just adjust the constellation to the stars with just rotating and do some zoom in and zoom out. The constellations are only available to few during nighttime, so it's up to you whether you want to wait or simply move the in-game clock forward. And for you who wants to know once again for the astronomy table locations, I already made the video about it and you can check it in the link on the description below. So the next one we have the follow butterfly puzzle. It's a very simple puzzle because all you need to do is just look for the butterfly logo on the map and when you approach it, you'll see a group of butterflies with various colors. Then you simply follow the butterfly until the chest appear. Oops. 
Then now I'm gonna talk and explain about all the common puzzles because when playing in this game we're gonna find a lot of puzzles around the wizarding world but we're mostly gonna find it in the treasure falls treasure falls are found around highland players can see them on their map indicated by a cave-like symbol so here are the list of the treasure falls puzzle and how to solve it first we have the door puzzle cube Locate a cube with a spell symbol on it and use Wingardium Leviosa to take it to a pedestal with matching symbol. Then perform the spell on the cube that the symbol indicates. Usually is Levioso or Incendio. A hidden passage will open somewhere nearby. Then enter to find your treasure. The cubes are never too far from the platforms. The second one is the floor puzzle. To access the fold, you need to use Accio on the handle object to the left of the stairs. Now go into the fold and use Revalio to see the chest and a strange cube. Use Fingardium Leviosa on the cube hidden in the upper right side of the room. Bring it toward the chest and the floor will go lower or upper to allow you to get the treasure. Then we have the arrow puzzles. It's simply just pick up the cube in the center of the room using Wingardium Leviosa. Now rotate it so that it matches with other cubes. Now place the cube in the open slot with the other cubes. Next we have the Accio puzzle. Sometimes in an area, you'll see an object or item with the handle on it. First, you need to use Revalio. The handle that highlight with blue color is the ones that you need to pull. So after that, use Accio to pull the handle. The next one we have the skeleton puzzle. So go inside the cave to find a pile of bones by using the Revalio. Then move the bones and place them on the platform. If you do it correctly, then a skeleton round will form. The bones will form some kind of object like stairs, bridge, etc. The next one we have the puzzle puzzle. If you see this device that looks like moss, all you need to do is just cast the puzzle to open the doors and sometimes move pile of bricks. If you cannot use the puzzle on this device, you must place the mods on top of it. Then we have the tornado puzzle. This treasure fold room is easy to identify since it has a small tornado full of leaves. To begin the puzzle, walk through the tornado. The tornado will disappear and reappear somewhere else inside the cave. Then find the tornado and walk through it again. Repeat this process until the tornado disappears and replaced by a treasure chest. Now we're gonna talk about the chest puzzle. To solve this puzzle, first the player needs to cast a value inside the room to refill the chair you'll need to transform. The chair has a chest pattern, so it's easy to identify. Once you found the object, you'll need to cast transformation on the object. This will transform the object into a chest piece. Cast Wingardium Leviosa on this new chest piece, levitate it and place it on the board so that it shakes mate and a chest will appear inside the room. Then we have Incendio Puzzle. When you first walk into the room, you'll see many floating branches circling around the bonfire. Use Incendio to light up all the braziers that remain unlit. Once the braziers are lit, a treasure chest will appear in front of bonfire. You'll need a mastery level of Incendio to make it easier for you to like the brazier. The last puzzle that we're gonna solve from the all common puzzles is the gate puzzle. If you pass through this gate, you'll see things that is invisible before, but the things that you saw earlier will gone. So you should pay attention to when you need to enter the gate to take those specific things. So that's all for today's video. I hope this video will help you who might be struggling to solve this puzzle. Thank you so much for watching. Please press like and comment down below if you have any discussions about the Hogwarts Legacy. 
please subscribe to our channel because your support will mean a lot to us. See you in the next video. Bye!